I am Army Chaplain Anthony Kelly, and today I want to talk to you about how to become an Army Chaplain, and also how and why did I become an Army Chaplain. So if you're interested in Army Chaplaincy, this is the video for you. My journey began back in 1996, when I graduated from Johnson Bible College in Knoxville, Tennessee, now it's Johnson University, with my BA and New Testament Studies. After that, I had entered into ministry, a full-time pastorate. And while I was in the pastorate, I got curious about Army chaplaincy. So I started talking to the Virginia National Guard about it. But I decided to stay with my church and work hard with my church. And I put off the talks about chaplaincy. Now the years slipped by. Then suddenly back in, in 2008, I started praying about what God's will was for my life and his direction in my life. And he started to renew those thoughts of army chaplaincy. But something was wrong. I had not finished my master's degree. I just piecemealed it through the years, namely a master in divinity degree. So I had started talking again to the army chaplaincy, and I found out about the chaplain candidate program, which is a program for seminarians to finish their schooling while drilling either with a reserve unit or a guard unit. And that's what I did. I joined the army chaplain candidate program. I raised my right hand, swore an oath, and I became a second lieutenant in the United States Army Reserve. And while I was finishing my master's in divinity degree. And then in 2009, I finished that degree. I got a chance to re-swear the oath and become a United States Army chaplain officially with the rank of captain. My first duty station was Fort Knox, Kentucky, where I was a battalion chaplain with the 1-6th Field Artillery Unit, 3rd Brigade, 1st Infantry Division, the Big Red 1. And in 2011, we deployed to Afghanistan, where I got a chance to experience life in combat for the very first time. And so God has done a marvelous work in my life in the Army Chaplaincy. But it started with prayer. It started with seeking God. It started with asking Him the direction in my life. And those doors started opening for me to step right through. Now, if you go on the website, goarmy.com, and type in the search chaplain, you're going to find a page pop up that has all the qualifications that you need to learn about being an Army chaplain. First, though, is that you need to have a denomination or faith group. Mine is the Christian Churches and Churches of Christ. My endorser is the Chaplaincy Endorsement Commission for the Christian Churches and Churches of Christ. I'm going to leave a link for them so that you can be able to contact them if necessary. Now, you also, you need to have the educational requirement. You have to have a undergraduate degree and at least 120 hours of coursework. And then you have to have a master's of divinity degree or a theology degree equivalent with at least, at least 72 hours of coursework. A lot of denominations require at least 90 hours to get your master of divinity degree or particular school that you go to. So you need to investigate all of this. You need to explore it. You need to decide what path you're going to take. And then also you need to have ministry experience. When I went to the chaplaincy, I had almost 15 years of pastoral experience, both while in Bible college and then after Bible college. So I was pretty versed with the ministry and I was able to get a waiver for that. So there are waivers that the military will give. Also, there's an age requirement. I came in late in life. I was age 37 when I entered active duty. And so there may be a different age requirement recognized today. So there's also different age requirements if you're going to go to guard or reserve or if you have prior service. So I encourage you to talk to a chaplain recruiter about all the different current things that you need to have. But I think first and foremost, it starts with prayer. You need to have yourself bathed in prayer and asking God what you need to do in life. But going back to that Master Divinity degree, the military also needs, and this is the chaplaincy, wants majority of it in a residency program. 
It used to be, especially during the height of the Iraq war, that and they were allowing and giving waivers for total online degrees. So I encourage you to talk to a recruiter about their current requirements because that could have changed as well. The one thing about the military is sometimes those requirements are not set in stone. They do change and sometimes change often. So I encourage you to contact your local chaplain recruiter. And if you go on the GoArmy.com website, they're going to direct you for that. Or if you go on Facebook, type in chaplain recruiter on the search and it will pop up generally a page for that chaplain recruiter and you'll be able to contact them directly. But God has a great and wonderful thing for each and every person who decides they want to enter into Army Chaplaincy. It's a great rewarding job. I love it. I've been in the Army Chaplaincy now for going on 12 years, and I enjoyed every part of it, every aspect of it. I've got the chance to minister to people that I've never would have ministered to before, from people from all different walks of life, whether they are Christian whether they are non-Christian, whether they're pagan, whether they're Satanist, God has opened up the doors for me to talk to people that I never would have talked to before if I was still in my pastorate. So if you're looking for an adventure, and it truly is an adventure, and you're willing to travel the world and see different places and see different, meet different type of people, then this is definitely the path that God may want you to take as well. I've had the opportunity to serve in Korea. I've had the opportunity to serve in Hawaii. I've visited different countries. God has uh, opened up the horizon. I've been to even in combat. So God has a wonderful way to work in no matter where you're at to make it a great ministry experience. One of the most shocking experiences is I got a chance to serve at Fort Sill, Oklahoma. I had never even been to Oklahoma when I got the assignment. And God led to wonderful ministry. And I got a chance to minister, be a basic training chaplain. So I was a battalion chaplain ministering to basic trainees. And it was an awesome experience. And to see how those young men and women got a chance to be absorbed by the gospel of Christ while in the military and while learning about the military. So if you are interested in Army Chaplaincy, I encourage each and every one of you to pursue it, to pray about it, to ask God what he wants, because it is a big leap, a big life leap that I believe you'll never be the same again in a good way. Being an Army Chaplain has its rewards. You get a chance to march with the soldiers. You get a chance to go out in the field. You get a chance to go out in the ranges. You get a chance to driving your Humvees or the tanks, or you get a chance to do all the stuff, the fun stuff that the soldiers are doing, with an exception that you're not allowed to carry a weapon by Geneva Convention and the Hague Convention. The reason is chaplains are bringers of God and peace into a combat situation. So we are not allowed to carry weapons, but we are assigned a chaplain assistant to carry a weapon and protect us in combat. And if you are interested in Army Chaplaincy, I pray that God will bless you in a mighty and powerful way so that God will open up doors for you to see what you can do for God and country. Amen.